Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. My name is James David and in today's video, I'll be talking about this particular fragrant plant known as Celadendron Bungay. So sit back and enjoy the show. When it comes to Celadendron, it has a many variety of flowering sets and this particular one is very much on a compound flowers. I have another one which is known as Bleeding Heart Wine where it is also from a Celadendron species where it has a white flowering but it is not fragrant. There are a few fragrant types which is also known in a local term as Mellow Jawa which is considered as a Javanese Jasmine. Normally a Celadendron do not have any pest problem but because this is a very much of a flowering plant it does attract a lot of pests towards it. In a way I have noticed when the buds are actually in formation ants comes to it and sort of bring in aphids and even mealybugs. The bloom however do not last very long. In a way I can notice that it lasts for 5 to 12 days, close more to a week and once it is done it will sort of like comes to a dead head formation. This is actually the flower bud. It does appear to be like a rose like feature. The fragrance however are very much evident towards the evening time. In a way I believe it attracts pollinators towards more on the evening time, most likely moths or other nocturnal creatures. Somehow I have not actually met any of those that comes for the flowers except few butterflies and moths. Also another factor that I've noticed that their leaves are quite showy, somehow as big as a hibiscus leaves. Now if you notice this white kind of speckles on it, I believe this is sort of like another pest that has infested in it. It more looks like a scale insect to me. So in a way you have to understand that you may have to use pesticide for it to control these kind of things that will create problems on these plants. Now uh, this particular one is actually I've dead hit the, the drying flowers and in a way I find that this flower bud somehow stays in formation at least for a few weeks. In a way I also noticed that these are telltale signs of all the pests that is actually attacking that is starting from the flower bud. These are specifically scale insect farmed by ants. In most cases after this video I'm going to trim and deadhead the whole plant and wait for it for the next set of plants to bloom. Apart from this setback, you will notice that these glorious flowers are quite majestic to look upon, especially more on the pink tones. You can actually see some ants actually crawling over it. These are the telltale signs of the culprit that bring in all this pest. Anyway, come Coming back to the plant care, these particular types do need bright sunlight for it to bloom. It will not bloom in shade in comparison to other Celadendron species. Another factor that I've noticed which is true that they can be invasive. Once they have established their root ball on the ground, they do tend to put out new shoots all around the base of the soil where they can sprout out from anywhere else where the trailing roots appear. So in a way a safe note to say that it will be better if we can plant them in a potted plant because if it's planted on open ground chances are you may not able to eradicate the plant if you choose not to grow it in your garden. Apart from requiring bright hot sun, in a way it needs to be bloomed. Also do take note that these are very much of a thirsty plant. They do require good watering, in lacking which they can easily wither away. Also it does do very good on a foliar fertilizer where when it comes to flowering, they do good when regular fertilizer is been applied. Together with the fertilizer, do take note that they also require pesticide as you will find that all kinds of pests are attracted to this plant. So if you don't want to have pests coming to your garden, do take note that this is one of the consequences.
Also do take note that propagation can be tricky if we can do propagate with their pups where they are attached with root roots because lacking which it can be challenging because it can be a 50 50 success when it comes to cutting i have not come across where it forms fruits so seeds can be challenging but i'm not sure whether if it's possible because i have not come across these forming true seeds where we can actually use them for propagation other than that i don't find that this is a fussy plant they do well in any of the regular potting mix in a way also i find that they do also very well with regular pruning other than that i think it is a very beautiful plant it's very fragrant in the evening time and also it has a beautiful pink flowers so i believe that if you are looking for more on a jasmine kind of flowers this fall into that category i now have come to the end of my video if you can please do click like and subscribe and support my channel if you can do put some comment below on what are your thoughts and experiences based on this particular plant hope you enjoyed your video here and i see you in the next one take care and enjoy yourself bye